<laughs> everybody join the other here, obviously. And by the time you see my video, uh, you have almost certainly seen other people talking about this thing, right? This white culture, whiteness infographic produced, I believe, by the Smithsonian, which is an American university. Uh, aspects and assumptions of whiteness and white culture in the United States. Now, the couple of other times that I've seen people talk about, I was very bemused and, and honestly quite confused about this inf infographic because it purports to be like anti-white racism. It purports, it seems to be like we hate white people and, and here's all the things about them we hate, except that the confusing part is you read through it and it, you know, unless I'm a utter ding-dong and just not getting it, most of the stuff in this infographic is positive, like begins with rugged individualism. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm in favor of that. The individual is the primary unit, self-reliance, independence and autonomy are highly valued, individuals assumed to be in control of their environment, you get what you deserve, blah, 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 blah. And I'm not going to go point by point through all of this stuff because lots of other people have talked about that, except to point out that a few of the things in here um, kind of tipped me off to give me a little bit deeper thought. Uh, let's see, one of the things is, based on European culture, steak and potato, bland is best. Women's beauty is based on being blonde, thin, and and they put in quotes, Barbie. Um, and that's that's seems kind of like a very surface level stereotypical, it's sort of a, a, a cliche. And then of course, because those are negative, they stood out to me. So I went back and read the rest of it. And of course, it's it's if you're going to say all this stuff is attached specifically or uniquely to being <laughs> white, then it's all really cliched stuff. But the danger is that because it's all mostly very positive stuff and the and the, the things that are negative are, are in extremely mildly negative, like nobody's going to get really worked up about saying that food is bland, European food is bland, um, whether it's false or true, it's like, oh, you think my food is bland, okay, well, don't eat it then, goodbye. <laughs> um, the, there's, a, there's something much more dangerous about this than anybody thinks, and, it's, and I'm not going to bury the lead. It's that if you buy into, if you're white and you buy into this thing and you, know, you, you are constantly inundated by all this anti-white racism that seems to be coming from all these uh, social justice movements and then mindlessly parroted by corporations and, and indeed in some governments. Um, and then the, the, you turn around and you find this seemingly anti-white, racist, quite well-produced infographic which attributes like almost everything that is positive and good to being white your tendency is going to be to buy into it even if the people who produced it are against you. They don't like you because you're you're white. <clears throat> and believe me, I don't want to be talking about whiteness or blackness or race because like I find the subject extremely tedious. Uh, I don't want to identify people by their ethnicity. That's, um, that's just a non-starter as far as I'm concerned, but I seem to be forced into this discussion because this particular infographic seems to be the most dangerous thing I've seen in modern media in quite a long time. And the danger is this. It's a template for a white nationalist and racist ethno state. Because if you are a white guy and or a white woman or, you know, you're just white, like if this was produced by black people who hate white people, they seem to have said everything that is good belongs to or comes from white people, which Okay, you can like you can say, oh, I feel really great about myself, but there's a fucking dark side to that. And it's that, you know, you produce a social climate, uh, a political climate, where the ethnicity or the skin color or the, you know, the nationalistic derivation of people from Northern Europe who live in North America now, like who are Irish or German or Scottish or Icelandic or, or whatever, you just group them all together. You make you say they're one ethnicity, and they're just they're just white, and they are all these things, and we hate them. And then you produce this infographic. What you're you're saying is 
white people should band together against everybody else. Like, that's the template here. And look at all this great stuff. We're um, work ethic, uh, Judeo-Christian, hard work before play, objection, objective, rational, linear thinking, cause and effect, quantitative analysis, uh, independent individuals as a primary unit, self-reliance, like all this great positive stuff You've made a template for an ethno state that is extreme and attached it to whiteness as if like there aren't industrious people, self-reliant people, highly capable people, people skilled in rational analysis um, if, if every other ethnicity. No, no, no. That all belongs to, to that's just the white people. So we're going to discourage everybody who isn't white from from exhibiting any of these behaviors or characteristics. And we're going to tell white people that. Like, everything great in the world came directly from them. Well, that's a template for an ethno-national state or a, a movement to create such a state that is explicitly along racist lines to group by color. Uh, and if that is not talked about, if that is not recognized, it will just happen. And that's really, really bad news. Um... That's why I think this is a little infographic, because funny as it is, being all this positive stuff is so effing dangerous. And uh, I hope more people t point out this particular hazard so that we can goddamn avoid it. Anyway, thanks for, much for, thanks for watching, and as always, have a lovely, lovely day.